This is the Gatling Gun, the used to be strongest tower in the game. For its two month lifespan so far, it has held that title until the 27th of November, when the devs decided that this overpowered tower was too good for their game and decided to give it the hardest nerf imaginable. Damn, this nerf was terrible. Its damage was decreased by so much. Just look at the stats before and after. It's ridiculous. Like, my only question is, what did it do to deserve this? I thought the Commando nerf back in 2019 was bad, but this just puts it to shame. They absolutely massacred this tower, and I expect to see a sharp decline in its usage. But I wanted to see how much worse it was by using it the exact same way when that first came out. So let's see how much worse it is now. So I placed down two crook bosses and started farming for the early game to get Gatling as it will be my main DPS, of course. Then I get down a Gatling gun and upgrade it. And for the first couple of upgrades, it's not so bad. The damage is reduced to about only 2-4 to four damage. It's not a huge difference. Until you get to level 4. A goddamn minus 8 damage nerf. That just sucks, not gonna lie. That's already super harsh for a tower. And it's only level 4. And if you can't tell, the Gatling Gun is struggling way more than it used to, which kind of had me nervous for the later levels. I upgraded to level 5, and it went from a damage of 55 to... That one in my chest. I can physically feel the pain of this nerf in my chest, bro. God damn. Now I really started to see it perform much worse on higher health enemies that used to be much, and I mean much easier to kill before this nerf is and i'm going to say it again terrible for the gatling gun and this is only intermediate think about how much worse it performs on fallen mode god i don't even want to know bro now on to level six before level six had a massive damage of 100 and used to be able to shred everything and even killed patient zero pretty quickly but now it has a damage of 65 a minus 35 damage nerf jesus christ from 100 damage to 35 that's just sad how a tower could fall off like this it literally reminds me of commando when it was first released it was the strongest tower in the game with a dps of 125 which doesn't sound like a lot today but back then it was greater than the mini gunner which only had a DPS of 44, but people considered it back then as one of the best towers in the game, and turret with a DPS of 100, and you could only get 5 of them. So here I was originally going to say you could get 10 commandos instead of the 5 turrets, which would have made it had a total combined TPS of 1,250, but when I went to go to the wiki to get the accurate information, uh, it was only 5. So, you may be willing to get 5 turrets and 5 commandos, but the commandos still do more damage. It was the tower to have in order to beat everything. But then, after the massive nerf in the mega update, commandos DPS was 47. So, minus 48 damage per second but now commando thrives the gatling gun dies as it now only has a dps of 600 which is still like two accelerators which in the grand scheme of things is still a lot but it's not its original 900 dps so yeah it may have a dps nerf of minus 300 but it can still kill pace and zero but i had my doubts because he got really far before dying much farther than last time but i also had military base and crook bosses placed down at that time so it's a little different he probably would have gotten a little less distance if he still had 100 health because it was like two magazines worth of hp he still got much farther than he normally should have and yeah that's it that is the new gatling gun it's much worse compared to its original, and I don't think they'll revert this since they banned this from Night 3 and the Please Donate events. So, the devs probably think this is a necessary nerf and won't be changing a single thing. But with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, and comment down below. Join the Discord so you don't miss any of my videos and upcoming content, and I will see you in another one. Bye!